very very insightful and uh, sharing your experiences uh, now i come to mr pavan khetan uh, who has uh, kind of migrated from pure agro paper mill to a hybrid model where almost 50% of furnish is the wood fiber but uh, how does he feel about this journey and then how does he propose to ensure the supply chains as far as the raw materials are concerned agro i can understand but sitting uh, in punjab and with no chipping plant as yet uh, how do you propose to go ahead and then secondly with this uh, challenge of plastic substitution how does mill of your size and your product mix uh, go ahead with meeting this uh, uh, extra demand which comes into the paper industry Yes, we've transformed ourselves from a purely agro operation to a combination of both agro and wood. We are almost 50-50 doing agro pulping and wood pulping. No doubt, we've increased the challenge for ourselves. Instead of sourcing only agro materials, we now need to have a lookout on wood sourcing as well. I think the sourcing for wood is. going to be an easier route in future because there are very very predominant social forestry programs that are available there are companies like ITC and JK who have already implemented and made these very very successful and a company who can follow that path which we are also doing we uh, increased our social forestry bandwidth to make about 20 lakh saplings every year now and our target is to increase it to 1 crore saplings in the next 3 uh, to 4 years fortunate for us uh, the farmers who come to give us this raw material both agro and wood are very very keen and ready to pick up all these saplings because this becomes an alternate source of income for them and uh, punjab is seeing a kind of transition from the normal wheat and rice cultivation cropping to a variety of different cropping patterns where wood is also getting included where agro sourcing is concerned yes it will continue to remain a challenge and i i feel that one needs to have the finger on the pulse a lot more the pulses are growing far and wide they are growing bigger and instead of having a 360 degree view of the entire environment business environment and around yourself you probably need a 720 degree view of the entire landscape to give you as an example the increase in number of cattle heads can directly impact wheat straw availability i was reading somewhere that in the last 40 years the cattle head numbers in our country have increased from 40 million to 457 million and it's growing by the day now obviously the wheat straw is a one main stock feed for these animals on which the paper industry is also dependent so we have to be careful on how and uh, how this transformation uh, happens and keep a uh, close connect with uh, the farmers and aggregators and people who are been suppliers to the company and that's how you will be able to manage your supplies better in future i think a personal connect with all these people is what is going to be very helpful so this is on account of the uh, sourcing so i think uh, this has come as a boon for the paper industry the single use plastic ban is giving the rightful opportunity for paper to find the replacement for all kinds of plastic applications namely food applications food wrapping for instance as as an industry we have already forayed into making paper straws cup stock paper cups and it doesn't end here we have also industries foraying into flexible packaging where the rightful 
barrier coating needs to be applied to paper, the base paper will be made and the rightful barrier coating for which solutions are available. There are a host of chemical companies, both Indian and global, who are in this field now and willing to give proper solutions of how the rightful barrier coatings can be applied and make that paper conducive and amenable for uh, food wrapping. So I think this has come in a big shot in the arm for the paper industry of being able to find an alternate opportunity. This is a huge opportunity. It's a growing opportunity. It's on, on the band and on the head of already a, a huge demand increase, even a 6-7% demand increase in various varieties is a good healthy growth prospect. But I think the single-use plastic band can actually push these figures closer to a double-digit double growth prospect area. Thank you.